Now we'll have a look at the present perfect tense. The form for the present perfect tense is again our subjects here and here, our auxiliary verb or our helping verb. In this case it's to have. For subjects I, you, we, and they, we leave the auxiliary verb as have. For he, she, and it, our auxiliary verb needs to be conjugated or changed into has. Following these helping verbs, we have our main verb in the past tense form, more specifically the past participle form. Here we have the verb to play. To play is a regular verb, so for regular verbs we simply add ed. The result is sentences such as, I have played football today, or he has played snooker today. As mentioned earlier, to form this tense, we have to use a special form of the verb. Technically, it's called the past participle form. With irregular verbs, of course, these past participle forms change quite a bit from its base form of the verb. Here are a few examples. Go moves to gone. Be moves to been. Write to written. Speak to spoken. And read although very confusing for the non-native speaker, doesn't change its spelling, but does change its pronunciation, resulting in read going to read. Of course, these are only five examples of our irregular verbs. There are many more, of course, and I suggest you reference the materials or perhaps even go online for an entire list of the irregular verbs.